You're watching Sports with Andrew Ward. A magical season came to a dramatic end Saturday for Anawan in Normal. KWQC's Gabriela Rusk has our coverage of the Class 1A state championship game from Redbird Arena. Anawan taking the floor for Class 1A finals against Unity after a long week in the Redbird Arena. Starting things off, Jade Van Hefty was all over the first quarter, the only one to score, cleaning up down low and picking up the foul for three points the old-fashioned way. Unity dominated the first half as Kaylee Kuhn hits a three-pointer to give the Mustangs the lead 8-7. to seven. Unity keeps that lead, but Kaylee Jackson drives through for a layup to put Anawan ahead again, 11 to 10. At the third quarter, Unity leads, but Reese Randall knocks in a three-point bucket to put the Bravettes within eight. Later, Keegan Rico comes up big with the rebound bucket, gets the foul to make it a three-point game in Redbird Arena. Fourth quarter was all Van Hefty, scoring the only points there as she gets a huge two points, putting Anawan ahead 38 to 37. Van Hefty would score a free throw, making the final 39 to 37. And the Bravettes win the state title for the first time since 2014. This is a new team from last year, but we have the same dream. Um, and, and we kept working for it all year, and it was about improvement all year. And you know, we talked about kind of our bad luck in the past and, and, and we said, you know, we're just going to think positive and we're going to say everything's going to go our way this year. And it did. We just stuck together. We kept working hard and uh, we pushed it. We kept pushing and pushing and it's just amazing. I know, everything I've been through, everything my team's been through, I just, I just love it. I just, this is just like awesome feeling. Yeah, we have a uh, never say die attitude and never ever do we let doubt creep in and that's what got it done tonight. Coach also added that he feels like this group flew under the radar this season, but they certainly will get a little more attention now after coming home with the state title. Reporting from the Redbird Arena in Normal, Illinois, Gabriella Rusk, KWQC TV6 Sports. All right, Gabriella, thank you. Hopes of a state title remain for boys basketball teams around Iowa Saturday night. A berth to the state tournament on the line in Muscatine, Comanche, and West Branch duking it out. In a Class 2A sub-state final, what a game and what an atmosphere. Second quarter, Cooper Cabela with the three ball. He had 32 points in this one. Bears led 46-42 at the break. Third quarter, Comanche fights back. Cameron Sankson dialing it up from long range. That gives the Indians a four-point advantage. Late in, the fourth quarter, late in the third quarter, Dev Patel getting the steal. Fights off the defender and scores through the foul. That gives Comanche a one-point lead heading to the fourth. In the fourth, Bo Cornwell for three. Booyah! And the Bears reclaim a two-point lead, but Comanche with a furious run late in the game. Dakota Sankson, three ball. That'll do. Party like it's 1985. Comanche to the Indians clinch their first state tourney berth in 32 years. 86-80, the final. Our guys have worked so hard, put in so many hours over the summer in open gyms, and these guys have done, played basketball their whole lives. And for this moment, this crowd, I mean, the game was an awesome game, and it's just, uh, it's, it's, it means everything. It's an indescribable feeling. It's something that we've been working for all of our lives. This is the moment that we dreamed of. It's like a relief. It's like, it's like way off your shoulders. Our town hasn't seen this in a while. We had to, we had to show them what, what we've been doing all year in the summer. These guys don't believe in summer stuff, and we showed them. Play. Also tonight, congrats to New London as they advance to their first ever state tournament with the 67-46 win against Lisbon. Iowa State entered today not just hot, sizzling hot. The Cyclones have won five of the last six, and the only loss was by just two points on the road at Texas. Iowa State back in Hilton, hosting number nine Baylor first half. Deontay Burton feeling it. Here he is ringing up a three. He had 17 points in the first half. We're tied at 36 at the break. Second half, Monte Morris knocking down three of his 17 points to go along with seven assists. Cyclones take a two-point lead. Later, Burton to Solomon Young for the throwdown. 11 points for him. Cyclones by six late in the game. Burton for three. Booyah. He led the Cyclones with 22. Hilton Magic strikes again. Cyclones win it 72-69, the final. The Iowa men on the road against Maryland. First half, Tyler Cook going to work inside. He scored 15 of his 21 points in the first. He also added 10 boards. Hawks led 47-40 at the break. Second half, Jordan Bohannon heating up. The freshman burying a triple here to give Iowa a nine-point lead. Then he doubles that lead with another three here. 
He led the Hawks with 24 points, all coming from eight three-pointers later. Nicholas Bear can stroke it a little too. 11 points for him. Iowa shocks the Terps in College Park, 83-69. Augie in the CCIW tournament title game tonight. The Vikings fall to North Central, the fourth seeded, the fourth seed in the tournament. Krishan Orange led Augie with 20 points. The Mallards in Kalamazoo also. The Wings scored four unanswered goals to win it four to one. And that's it for sports. We'll wrap things up after the break.